whatever your dream may be, there will always be people who try to kill it. Through their words, actions and inactions, these people make you feel less motivated and utterly uninterested in pursuing your dreams. In this video, I will share with you seven types of people who kill your dreams. 1. Negative people While you know these type of people are no fun to be around, what you might not realize is that they can have incredibly adverse effects on your health and success. Scientific research indicates that negativity is contagious, similar to a cold. Little wonder why an anonymous writer once advised, always remember that it takes one negative comment to kill a dream. Quite simply, no matter how positive a person you are about your dreams and ambitions, with negative people around you, you may begin to see your goals in a negative light. Unfortunately, you cannot accomplish your dreams if you do not believe in them. Your motivation to get things done requires that you both be engaged with the goal and also that you think that you can accomplish what you set out to do. So, when you allow a negative person to drop a negative comment as regards your dream, you may be beginning to imagine that you cannot succeed at your goal, which can be demotivating. 2. Critics The truth is that most people around you are very judgmental. They view life in terms of black and white or right versus wrong. Instead of seeing the world in shades of grey, if your point of view is different from theirs, they are usually so quick to condemn you and give you multiple reasons why you are wrong. When you share your dreams with these people, they will try to bring out logical points to make you see that your dreams are not valid and thus should be trashed. Consistently, they will persuade you to give in to their opinions by condemning your ideas. When people criticize others, they're coming from a place of fear. They may be thinking, what if he or she succeeds? Then maybe I would look like a loser in comparison. But that's their problem, not yours. Hence, you must try your possible best not to give in to their pressure. Because if you do, it will just break down your dream. 3. The Conformers The Conformers are the most popular of all the types of people who can kill your dreams. Yet, they are the ones who are not easily noticeable. Conformers are the ones that will follow the limits set on them and also urge you to do the same. Conformers will most likely advise you to stick to your 9-to-5 job rather than build a startup. They do not have any dreams they are chasing after and they are not doing something that goes against the status quo. Conformers are simply living like robots, waking up, working 40 hours a week at a job they hate, going home, sleeping and continuing the same pattern the next week. They like to play safe because they are scared and they will project their fears on you if you share your big dreams with them. Many people are content with this and this is perfectly fine but a person that is following their dreams cannot conform to the normal lifestyle. Hence, he must beware of conformers. 4. The unserious one The unserious one in your group is usually the one that wants to go out drinking every night. Often, these types of people are dreamers that are too lazy to step out of their comfort zone and pursue their dreams. Indeed, it would be best if you took some time to relax and clear your head so that you can refocus. But going bar hopping every single night is not going to get you the life you're after. It is more of a distraction than anything. Limit your time with the person that always wants to go out because if you don't, you will lose focus of everything you are trying to achieve. African playwright and poet Michael Bassey Johnson once said, These are the words of a fool. I am happy to be a fool, for I won't spend my time gazing at lines difficult to decipher while my mates are drinking with glee. Unserious people are not wise. They consider every time, including work time, as a time to marry. With their unserious behaviors, they can break your focus on your dreams. 5. The Doubters These types of people can be chronic vibe killers. They will listen to your big dreams but they will be the first one to tell you that they don't think it's a good idea or advise you not to get your hopes high. Doubters believe that if all the resources and strategies including backup plans are not yet known, then the task is not worth embarking on. As somebody who is chasing their dreams, this cannot be very encouraging. Doubters crush your energy but make you feel like your dreams are too big and you are incapable. According to the American writer, 
poet and philosopher Susie Kasim, doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. Hence, identifying the doubters in the group that you spend the most time with will be beneficial to you and your future success. It is vital to your success to surround yourself with people that will encourage you to chase your dreams. Surrounding yourself with the right people will ultimately be a driving force for you to make your dreams become a reality. 6. Jesters Teasing is just a different form of criticizing. It seems like it is all fun and games and it may even look like the other person is supporting you because they will have a smile on their face and say, Oh, I'm just joking. Lighten up. But it is often a disguised form of criticism. And masking criticism with teasing is still criticism. Jesters are usually very close friends of yours. When you tell them about your dreams in the process of trying to get you to be reasonable and see the folly in trying to pursue what they consider as the impossible goals you have set for yourself, some will resort to clumsy attempts at humor and in some cases ridicule your ideas and efforts outrightly. But learn from Robert Goddard, the American engineer. As a result of repeated mockery and ridicule of his published theories about how rockets could be built to fly into space, he chose to continue his work in a more private location, away from the prying eyes of nosy locals, colleagues and most notably journalists. On March 16, 1926, Goddard successfully made his dream a reality by launching his first rocket. Don't be swayed by mockery. Instead, go private. 7. Conversational Hog Aspiring software developer Liam Hayes calls this type of person a conversational narcissist. These are a set of people who talk a lot about themselves but who don't show an equal, genuine interest in hearing from you about yourself. Anytime you attempt to relate an idea to these set of people, they cut you short with an experience they had that relates to the statements you are about to make and never allow you to complete the statement. They could include a friend who is always looking for advice for his endless problems but never asks you about your own. The showboat who gets a thrill about endlessly relating his latest adventures or the well-meaning acquaintance who can't seem to maintain a conversation about anything other than her therapist. But whichever subtype you come across, avoid them and don't feel guilty about it. Although it might just be that they are probably just talkative who are ignorant about the effects of their plenty talk. Their actions can kill your zeal to pursue your dreams as well as your goals. If you care so much about the relationship, try explaining to them. That is, if they let you. If they are willing to change, you can still tag along with them. Otherwise, flee from them before they compress your dreams. Making up your mind to live your dreams is an easy thing to do. Yet many people fail to live their dreams because of the influence of certain dream killers in their lives. Don't let anyone kill your dreams. Make up your mind and stand firm.